Oh, Linda, I don't know. Things are getting out of hand. I, I just don't know who to trust anymore. Oil Co., they tried to get another injunction to shut us down again. Well, why don't you just sell the damn thing? You're not the only one being affected by this, Larry. Honey, I gotta see this thing through. We've gotta see this thing through. And I am not gonna let Big Oil get their hands on this. I mean, the technology, it works. Don't you see? This will solve the world's energy crisis. Are you forgetting what they did to the guy that invented the 200 mile per gallon carburetor? He isn't going to set foot out of that hospital for the rest of his life. Why don't you get Gus to cover for you? We can't take much more of this, Larry. Gus, you got to be kidding me. He's the one reason I spend so much time at that office. Oh, I got to find proof that he's been collaborating with Big Oil some partner. I can't believe that he tried to sell all of those shares to them last year despite his claims to the contrary. <sighs> Look, Linda, the company is doing well. I just have to ensure that the formula for the solar panels... I'm sorry. I'm on my way. Promise. See ya. Another 400,000 shares sold, man. What I tell you, we're going to be rich. Come on, let me introduce you to the shareholder. Hey, you need a lift? Your daughter's dead. Now leave us alone. Oh, Leslie, for God's sakes, what happened? 
happened to you? Oh, I'm so sorry that I, I let you down so much. I should have done something about it. Should have. It's okay, Dad. I forgive you. There's a couple of things you need to see. Is this real? Dad, there's nothing left for you here. It's time to go. I didn't have a chance to say goodbye to tell her. I love her. That I'll miss her. Linda, I'm so sorry. What can I do? He was always working. He said we'd be all right. That he perfected the formula. Then we'd go on a vacation. You promise? Linda, he did love you. There wasn't even enough money to pay for his own funeral. I wish there was something I could do, but the company, it's in financial ruin. What? What, what are you saying? That, that's, that's not true. You liar. What did you do with the money, you son of a bitch? It's time to go. No, I can't go. I, Leslie, I've got, to, I've got to warn Linda. Look, we've got to do something. You've got to help me. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. But there's got to be a way. I'll do anything. You don't understand. We're not in that existence. We're in the process of passing from one dimension to another. But isn't it possible that if we're in their dimension that we can somehow interact with them? To some extent, but not what you're hoping for. We can see and hear everything move around in time and space, but they can't hear or see us, nor can we affect anything there. Dad, can't you see it's over? We're done here. And again, thank you. It was a great service. No problem at all. Listen. Who's that woman? What is she doing? Oh, dear Margaret, she lost her husband, Hubert, two years ago after 60 years of marriage. Some people say the loss drove her insane. She's here every Sunday, rain or shine, at his grave to have a picnic with them. Really? She claims she can still communicate with them. Listen, I do have to get going. Once again, my deepest sympathies. You take care. Thank you so much. Hello, Margaret. My name is Laura. I know who you are. Hubert told me. Would you like to join me? Yes, thank you. Your son-in-law is in terrible danger. Larry? But Larry's dead. No, he's on his way to purgatory, trapped between the living and the dead. Your dead granddaughter and her kind will draw the soul from his body, leaving him to suffer for all time. What? What are you talking about? 3,000 years ago, it was believed that Satan sent his demons on earth to gather souls. Oh my God. But in reality, these demons are human mutations living amongst us with only their blackened eyes giving their dark secret away. Oh my! They multiply by hypnotizing young women and impregnating them. That's awful. But their real power comes after they're dead and they remain in purgatory. Here they wait to feed upon the recently dead, drawing the very soul from their body leaving them to experience extensive, intense pain and suffer for all eternity. 
while these demons enjoy ecstasy and pleasure, soul after soul. Are you saying that Leslie is, is a mutation? Yes. She and her kind must convince the dead to accept their fate and move on. As long as the dead feel that they have unfinished business on earth, they will not be separated from their soul. That's terrible. Does she have it? No, she doesn't. She would have produced it by now if she did. This would have been a lot easier if you'd picked a better way to kill them. Well, I wouldn't talk. That drive-by shooting last year only killed his daughter. Don't worry. I'll find that formula even if I have to tear this entire town apart. You'd better. My associates and I have a substantial investment at risk. You must relax. Accept your passing. Hold it. How is it that the clouds are moving away from us? I don't know. That's it. We've got to go back. I figured out a way to get a message no. to Linda. Yes, to protect her and Larissa. Linda. Give us a call if you need anything. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Linda. Leslie, the steam from the teapot. It's water vapor, and just like the clouds. Linda. H. I. Grandma's here. Where did you disappear to? Honey, this is Margaret McDonald. She lost her husband a couple of years ago. Hi, Margaret. My condolences. Thank you, my dear. He's still with me, you know. I see yours is still with you. Grandma. She's gifted, you know. Yes, I'm, I'm blessed with the ability of communicating with my dear Hubert. Why is she a... Uh... When my husband died, I was heartbroken. I couldn't eat or drink, and I had all but passed over to the other side. When they brought me back to life, I had remained connected to the other side somehow. I can see your husband now, and your daughter. Larry? Linda, I'm here. Uh, tell her I love her. Tell her what Gus is up to. Tell her where the formula is. Your husband wants to communicate with you. Would you have some candles or incense I could use? Maybe we should sit down now. Larry, we're ready. Larry? Larry, is that you? The formula. It's hidden behind a solar panel. He says Gus is a crook, a liar. Gus. Larry suspected him.
Lucas. Let's go. There they are. Kill them. That's why Gus tried to run us down. Once he had the formula, he could sell it to the highest bidder. I see. Well, we'll keep our eyes open for Gus's accomplices. In the meantime, take some solace in what your husband's invention will mean to mankind. It's okay. It's okay. I am. I'm right here. I am. 